Hey, hey, hey. Your favorite hand clap jury lady in the building. What's going on, Facebook? Happy Monday. Happy Memorial Monday. I have a very, very special tribute live for you guys today. So as you guys are coming into the J-O-P-P-P room, okay, I'm just going to pin some links down here real quick, and then we're going to get into the description of this live. And I'm going to tell you why I call this a special tribute. And I think you guys are going to, I think you guys are going to like it. I think you guys are like going to like it. Today was supposed to be a Macrum Monday live, but today is a very special um, holiday. Okay. So I decided to switch it up at the last moment. And y'all know me, I'm good for switching up something and, you know, keeping y'all in suspense one good time. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and pin these down here at the in the comments so there ain't no um confusion so whoops almost did it again all right so today is a very special tribute okay and i'm calling this the memorial monday live all right i'm giving you guys a special red white and blue live today in support and tribute and saluting to the soon-to-be soldiers the current soldiers retired soldiers and the soldiers that many families have lost trying to fight for our country as chaotic as it is you guys you got to salute them one more time for going out there and trying to make america good again and i want to share a small little story before i get into this live i had my grandfather who was a pastor built his own church he served 32 years in the army and he transitioned to be with the lord back in 2008 my daddy the world's greatest dad a girl could ever ask for. He served 22 years in the army. He retired, lived for eight, and then we lost him to colon, pancreas, and stomach cancer. I lost my dad at the age of 15. And I can remember being probably five, six years old in Fort Bragg, Army Base, stationed out in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And all the families were there as the helicopters were coming in and landing. And you see all these army men coming off and we were standing right behind this big old rope that we were waiting for somebody to cut the rope and the families take off running. I can remember me and my brother like had our heads under the rope and we were like in a track meet ready to take off. And the minute they cut that rope, we shot out there and we were trying to we were trying to pinpoint who where my dad was and my older brother, you know, there you go, there you go. All of us had just bum rushed my daddy. My daddy was a very slim, tall man, okay? We almost knocked my daddy down. And I'm so little, I'm the only one hugging his leg. And I can remember my mom saying, where's Tasha, where's Tasha? And I said, I'm down here. And my daddy looked down and I remember him picking me up and grabbing me because my dad got deported right after I was born. The moment I was born and I came into this world, my dad got deported to Korea. So. I went the first few years of my life without seeing my daddy. And when I did, it was just like that instant daughter, daddy uh, relationship. And now that he's gone, you know, my dad married again and he had four children. And um, excuse me if I get a little bit emotional, but all of us ended up having children. And my dad didn't get to live long enough to see none of his grandchildren from his last marriage. He got to see the other grandchildren grow up and spend time with them, but he didn't get to see the last four, you know, bring kids into this world. And so I just think, you know, like, and I pray and I ask God, you know, I wonder if my dad, you know, is proud of me right now. Everything I've gone through, everything I've been through and where I am right now, I wonder if he's proud of me. And I can still to this day, 22 years, come November, it's maybe 22 years my dad's been gone. And to this day, I still wait for that phone to ring and it says, Tasha is daddy. Or to, you know, hear a knock at the door and I see my dad standing there. So um, I dedicate this live to my grandfather, to my dad, and to all the families out there that have a daughter, a son, a niece, nephew, cousin, grandson. I dedicate this live to y'all and I want to say thank you for putting your lives on the line for this country. Thank you for fighting for our country. And I double salute you. And I hope that this live makes someone happy today. So this live, you guys, oh, sorry. 
Oh, Jesus. So this live is all about red, white, and blue. I pulled out the red and white blue pieces today. And today I am wearing the um, American Anthem White Star Necklace. And there's two ways you guys can wear this necklace. As you can see, it's in place right now. But if you pull it apart, the stars, they do separate. So you could wear it two different ways. I have the uh, Liberty and Sparkle for All blue earrings going on. And then I just pulled out some red, nice, glowing uh, red stretch band beads. It's a row of four and they do stretch. So that is my red and white look today in representation for Memorial Day. So to all the families out there, thank you for serving our country. You are appreciated. You are loved. And we thank you for that. So I'm pulling out all red, white, and blue pieces, y'all. So normally I would say you're going to comment J-O-P-P-P, -P -P, but today we're not doing that. I'm gonna show you the first few pieces of red. So when you see red, you're gonna give me a red heart and the number in the comment box. When I do the white, you're gonna give me a white heart and the number in the comment box. When I show blue, you're gonna give me the blue heart in the comment box with the number, okay? So hello to everybody that's gonna, um, that's watching this live. If you catch the replay, just hashtag replay. It's very, very appreciative. For those who don't know me, my name is Tasha. I am a two-time Life of the Party Bronze Achiever with Paparazzi Accessories. I'm going on three years with this company, and I have hit Life of the Party Bronze twice, okay? When I first started, didn't know nothing about jewelry. You could not pay somebody like me to wear jewelry. Now I have fun creating sets, creating personal looks for me that would personally work for you. I am a star consultant at this moment. I do not have a team. I am no director. I am a star consultant. And why am I comfortable with that? I'm going to tell you why. Because there's so much more for me to understand this paparazzi assignment. Yes, it's going to be a roller coaster for me. It's going to go up. It's going to go down. But I am here remaining consistent, being persistent, showing up and doing what I got to do. The promoting, branding, marketing is crazy for me. I have my own Shopify store, which is in the links right now. I have a YouTube page where I take these lives from Facebook and upload them. I'm going and transitioning, going live on my Instagram page. So I'm here. And the number one reason, my why at first was because I had a son that was, uh, I have a son, I'm sorry, I have a son who was diagnosed with childhood cancer at 10. As a single mom, that's the worst news you want to get about your child. And I fought and I fought and I fought with the help of social workers, nurses, organizations. I had prayers from family, but through the midst of it, I only had me, my daughter, and his brother. Those were the only three people that was there through his four-year battle. My son graduated from high school with a 4.0. He made the principal's list. He got his first job at 16. He is now 19, getting ready to start community college. And, you know, life is good. So that was my why, you know, to find something that would allow me not to be codependent on others where I could find my independence. And I have my second why, which I'm going to be updating it because you can always change your why. So my second why right now, I uh, suffered a serious back injury with my last employer, had an x-ray done and determined I had scoliosis on my spine. So I had to resign because the job did not want to accommodate me. So then it was like, okay, what am I going to do? I don't want to be on nobody's welfare. No shade at all. Like if the assistance is there to help, good. But there comes a time where they expect you to rely on them versus relying on your why and your story and your struggle. Okay? The WSS, why, story, and struggle. My why, my story, and my struggle will not allow me to go back on somebody's welfare. So what am I doing? I'm making this my full-time business with no excuses. There should be no excuse why I can't come on here, show y'all some jewelry, talk to y'all, chill with y'all, vibe with y'all, laugh with y'all. And I have all this jewelry behind me. And I'm not doing nothing with it. So no, I'm going live six days a week. If I'm not going live Monday through Saturday, I'm going live Tuesday through Sunday. I take one day off. And sometimes that one day off, there's still money to be made because my store is still pulling in orders. So there's no excuse, you guys, no excuse as to why you feel like you can't move further ahead. I put a, a post on my main page where it says, my growth is, is a continuing process. 
Okay, so I'm steady growing every day from the inside to the outside with this business and I'm putting myself through the training. I'm taking notes. I'm applying it when I go live and I'm sharing it, hoping that it will encourage somebody to not feel stuck, limited, or what's the word I want to say? Or non-capable because you are capable. You just got to have it up here. You're capable. So we're going to jump into this live. We're going to start with red pieces, okay? So first up, and let me thank you, let me thank you guys for, you know, sharing that little bit with y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So first up, I have a red wood necklace. Here are the earrings. It is on a fish hook. It is a bright, beautiful red beaded earring, okay? And how are you going to wear this necklace? You're simply going to pull it over the head like this and rock it out just like this. This is a 100% beaded wood necklace. These are gorgeous for the summer, especially if you're taking a much needed vacation. They're good for the fall, they're good for winter, they're good all year around, okay? And you just pull it right back off, just like this. Just like this. And so I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the bus. Very, 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 very bright, bright, bright. bright. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting tongue tied again. I'm getting tongue tied again. Very bright. And see, it can even go with my uh, bracelet that I'm wearing too. So see how I just kind of threw that little combination in there? So if you're going to want this wood necklace, you're going to comment a red heart and the number one. Okay? A red heart and the number one. So I'm going to show you this bracelet and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to give you a set. This is called Raising the Barbados. It is a spicy red hot stretch wood bracelet and i love the stretch braces because you see how slim my wrist is it's a perfect fit versus it sliding all the way down here and then i gotta be all like this you know trying to get the bracelet in the selfie nah i can't do that so this one is called raising the barbados in red and if you want this bracelet you're gonna give me a red heart and the number two red heart and the number two but here's where i'm gonna twist it for you if you wanted to make a beautiful muy caliente red set, so if you thinking about taking a trip to Mexico and you want it to get hot and spicy, here's your set right here. Take this set right here. So if you want to claim this as a set, you're gonna give me a red heart, the number two, and you're gonna put set, okay? Red heart, number two, set. So like I said, we're doing all the red pieces first. Next up, I got these pretty earrings right here. These are called Design by Deco. It is on a post back earring. Super cute. And if you like those earrings that have that little bit of a hang time, as we consultants call them, you're going to give me a red heart and the number three. Red heart and the number three. I have a cute red necklace. This one is called Oceanside Oceanique. Oceanside Oceanique in red. It's a very, 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 very another bright red necklace, okay? And as you can see, it has two chains and it's layered with two, okay? Very cute beaded, clear beads and you have some silver going on. Once again, you can match my bracelet with it. Comes with the matching earrings. You're gonna give me a red heart and the number four. Red heart and the number four. So if I'm swiping back and forth, guys, I'm just trying to make sure I don't see no comments. I'm not missing anything. Hey, Meandra, happy uh, Memorial Day. Hey, Celestine, happy Mother Day. Uh, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> happy Memorial Day, Lord, have mercy. Oh, thank you, Queen. You are awesome too. Mwah. Love you, sis. Thank you. Next up, okay, so ladies, we know our worth, right? So paparazzi decided to come out with this necklace. It's red, but paparazzi said, don't just know your worth, know your selfies worth. So they mean when you in the mirror and you putting yourself together and you got some earrings that are just $5, you know what I'm saying? Make sure when you take that selfie, it knows it's worth. So this is the selfie worth red necklace. And as you can see, it's got like the flower design and it has a bling in each one. Could you pull this up and make it a choker? You could pull it up about right there. 
That would be beautiful just like that. And it has the matching earrings and the extender with the lobster claw. You're gonna give me a red heart and the number five. Red heart and the number five if you want the selfie worth, okay? Next up, I have the Experimental Edge Necklace. It's a beautiful silver chain with some bright, beautiful, glistening red bling. Look at that. Let me get her up in your face one good time. Look at that. Yes, you can pull her up as a choker too. Look at that. Get some elegance going on. And you can wear her as a double. Let me show you how you do that. There she is right there. Wear her as a double. Or you could pull her up a little higher and have the second one hanging a little low. Just an idea when I tell y'all, you know, there's, minimum, there's many ways to create a look and a set for yourself. And if you like the experimental edge, you're going to give me a red heart and the number six. Red heart and the number six. We're not going to comment J-O-P-P-P -P -P today. We're doing red hearts, the number. Blue hearts, the number. White hearts, the number. That's what we're doing, okay? Next up. Y'all saw me flash out this one in black. So across the globe trotter, it came in red. Yes, I am getting my hands on the baby blue one. Super cute. You could definitely wear two of these if you decided to pull her up. She's going to look like that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So look how it would look. I don't know if this is a good example, but I'm just showing y'all. But that's how it would look if you pull her up slide her back down she is a pretty red now i could have went either way with these red pieces to go with the white and the blue y'all i promise you i could have went either way if you like across the globe trotter in red you're gonna drop a red heart and the number seven red heart and the number seven next step now these earrings are new and they are available on my shopify store my shopify store my paparazzi links are clean are cleansed oh my god they are pinned in the comment box oh i cracked myself up these are new check these out these are super cute when these came out in the new release guys i, had to, I gotta tell you right now i came up with a bad watch your mouth four piece set i have a necklace I have a bracelet, I have a ring, and these earrings just set it off. That might be my set for today because this does have red, white, and blue in it. So later on today, before I get too busy or after I eat a good meal, because my boys are out there on the grill right now, I just did the potato salad, um, the macaroni is um, boiling right now, the water. The water for the macaroni is boiling. I got some fried cabbage, um, uh, the baked beans are done. They're doing ribs, they're doing drumsticks, they're doing hot links and hot dogs. So we gonna eat good today, you know, we gonna eat good. And I'm gonna put that set together for y'all and I'm gonna show it to y'all. So if you like these, you're gonna drop a red heart and the number eight. Red heart and the number eight. Now before y'all ask, is anybody coming over? I don't do social gatherings like that unless I'm doing a major barbecue or I'm doing something small for my kids, you know, for their birthdays. Other than that, I'm not going out. I ain't going nowhere. I'm spending my time with y'all for a little bit, and that's how it's going to be. Next up, these also came out. These are so cute. I have these in black. These are so cute. This is called the Beadwork Wonder, and here they are. It is a beaded earring encased in a silver square, and as you can see, your colors are black, white, blue, red, and silver. These are super cute, guys. Look at those. This would be paired paired up perfectly with a cb necklace you like these you're gonna give me a red heart in the number nine red heart in the number nine next up let freedom bling i have a coil red bracelet okay when i say coil you guys are worried about that so a coil bracelet is gonna go like this and it's gonna wrap around your wrist it's gonna coil around you like that See all that red bling with a little bit of pinch of silver in it? So if you want to let your freedom bling, you are going to put a red heart. You're going to give me a red heart, and you're going to give me the number 10 for let freedom bling. You're going to give me a red heart and number 10. So, okay, we switched through the red. Red is all done. You guys are more than welcome to go back and catch the replay. Now we're going to move into my favorite color of all 
blue. I love me some blue. Y'all don't see my hair pieces blue. Y'all don't see my nails blue. Y'all don't see me in blue jewelry. You won't see me in any blue lipstick, though. You know, I don't want to scare nobody with the blue lipstick. But here we go. Here are the matching earrings right here. And this is called Here Today, Gondola Tomorrow. And it's just a mixture of different shades of blue. You have your light blue, your baby blue, and your clear blue, okay? So it's a simple, cute blue necklace, and you can also double her up, too, if you have one. And if you like this one, you're going to drop me a blue heart and the number 11. Blue heart number 11, okay? Next up, I'm going to show you another double up. This one is called Tenaciously Tangy. You guys saw me rock this one with pink. I do have it in purple, so I'm going to hold out for a very purple special live when I decide to do rainbows. That might be a good thing. I'll probably start that next week. We'll do a rainbow challenge. All the colors of the rainbow, but then we're also going to add some copper and brass and all that goody, goody, goody stuff. Okay, so Tenaciously Blue, this is what she looks like. Here are her matching earrings right up top. So if you wanted to double her up, which you can, she's going to look like this. She's going to look like this, doubled up. But if you wanted to pull her up a little bit, give you just a little bit of a space, you could do that too. So there she is, doubled up. She's not going to be a set, but just an idea. If you like her, you're going to give me a blue heart number 12. Blue heart number 12. Next up. We have the Cosmic Coronation going on here. And there she is. Let me get her up in your face too. See all that blue? See that bling? Gorgeous, right? Just beautiful. You could double her up too. You could pull her up a little bit. Just about, you know, maybe chest high. But if you do her like that, you really can't see all of her. So I would suggest just leaving her just like this. Cute little blazer. Maybe even a tank top or a short sleeve. So if you want her, you're going to give me a blue heart and the number 13. A blue heart and the number 13. Next up, I have another blue necklace. Almost like the Heart of the Ocean from the Titanic movie. Almost. And I say that because of the blue in this necklace. All right. And here she is. There she is. Let me put her in your face again. See that blue? See that blue? Gorgeous. I love this part right here. You want to know why? See how you can see the chain on each side? So when you pull her up a little bit, that is definitely a look that you want to have. So if you want her, you're going to give me a blue heart and the number 14. Blue heart and the number 14, okay? Okay. Next up, you guys probably saw this one, but I got to show it to you again because, you, like I said, you never know um, if somebody new is going to, you know, catch this live. Those are the earrings. And here she is right here. She's adorable. Look at her. Beautiful. Yes, I will pull her up, make her a choker any day of the week. There you go. There you go. Super cute. Mwah. You just got to kiss it. If you like her, you're going to give it a blue heart and the number 15. A blue heart and the number 15. Okay, now this necklace, I'm so mad because when I look at this one, husk, sorry, when I look at this one and I miss the pink one, I sold out on the pink one, but I do have it in blue. So there's the earrings. And here she is. This is called Palm Beach Beauty. Palm Beach Beauty. And yes, if you pull her up, she's going to give you that opening space right there. Super cute. So I'm going to put her under my neck, and this is what she's going to look like. Oh, is she popping with these earrings I got? Y'all creating looks for myself. I hope y'all feeling these. You like her? You're going to give me a blue heart and the number 16. The blue heart and the number 16. Now we're going to move into some earrings, guys. Earrings. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. One more necklace. Hold on. Ooh. My bad. Can't do that. Can't do that. Look at this one. Look at this one. Super cute. Look at this one. Oh, my God. Yes. Can you pull her up as a choker? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. 
Super cute. If you like her, you're going to get this one. A blue heart and 17. Blue heart and 17. All right. Oh, wait, guys. I got a bracelet. Hold on. Okay. Sorry, guys. Almost. Um, I have misplaced the bracelet. Okay. So we're going to go X-Man with this one. And I say X-Man because there was a very particular um, character by the name of Magneto. If you don't know who Magneto is and you're not an X-Man fan, we need to have a serious discussion. Magneto was the one that controlled all the metal objects. It was all about the metal. So when you see this bracelet, you're probably looking like, okay, how does this work? It's a magnetic bracelet. So you want, and you clap it together, just like that. And this one is called um, Star Studded Affair in blue. Star Studded Affair in blue. If you like that one, you're gonna give me a blue heart and the number 18. Blue heart and the number 18. Next up, so you guys see that I am wearing these particular earrings, okay? Liberty and Sparkle for All in Blue. So I do have them available for you too. And here they are, super cute. You're gonna sparkle at the top and you're gonna sparkle at the bottom on a fish hook. $5, you guys, plus tax shipping is available. You're gonna give me a blue heart and the number 19. Blue heart and the number 19. Last up, I have a blue ring. It's called Hive Hustle. It is a diamond cut shaped blue ring, okay? And it has a pointy little tip and a pointed bottom. So there it is right there. It's a beautiful blue with the stretch band on the back, okay? Size is six to a 10. She's gonna be blue heart number 20. Give me a blue heart and number 20 for her. Okay, so now we're gonna move to the white. We are gonna move to the white pieces, okay? We're gonna move to the white pieces. First up, I have this necklace called Dangerous Dazzle. Dangerous Dazzle. It's on a two silver strand like chain. And then it has some daggers down here at the bottom. So another one I gotta put in your face so y'all can see all that bling. Dangerous Dazzle in white. Okay, if you want her, you are going to give me now a white heart with the number 20. Dangerous Dazzle, white heart number 20, okay? Next up, now this one was a convention piece. And this one is called Limelight Luxury. Limelight Luxury, okay? Look at that. She is a one and done. She is my last one. There she is, look at the size of this necklace. Oh my God, look at that. That is a beauty and yes, yes, hunty, come through with the choker effect. Oh my goodness, if you like her, you're gonna give her a white heart number 20. Limelight luxury, white heart number 20, okay? Next up, when you shop with paparazzi or if you have a consultant, just know you're going to sparkle forever and never, ever, and after that, ever, okay? So this is called Sparkly Ever After, another beautiful white necklace, but I got to put her in your face, y'all. You see all that bling in there with the upward teardrops? Gorgeous, yes. Come through with that choker touch one more time, y'all. You're going to give her a white heart, number 21, number 21, okay? Happily, sparkly ever after, sparkly ever after. Next step. You guys saw my uh, Liberty and Sparkle for All in Blue, but I have them in white as well. So you're going to sparkle all day in white. All day in white. You're going to give me a white heart and the number 22. White heart and the number 22. Next up, I'm going to give you a little bit of inspiration because you guys know I love my butterflies. Okay, I love my butterflies. This one is called Flamboyant Flutter in White. 
It is about the butterflies for me and the bling at the bottom. Flamboyant flutter, you're going to give me a white heart and the number 23. A white heart and the number 23. Next up, I got the Kaleidoscope Sky. Post back earrings, sea bead. There she is. And this is just inspired by a cupcake with sprinkles on it. I'm going to just go ahead and be honest. But look how those look on the ear. Cute. I have these in black, but we are all about the red, white, and blue today. She's going to give me a white heart and the number 24. A white heart and the number 24. Next up, where are we going here? Oh, my God. We have a... This earring is so freaking cute, y'all. It is so freaking cute. Look at this. It's a sunflower daisy. It's a sunflower daisy. Look at that. The white sunflower, and then you got the and you got the daisy touch to it, and you got the bling on a post back. If you want the sunny, the sunshiny daisy, you're gonna give me a white heart and the number 25. A white heart and the number 25. Next up, these are new to the JOPPP room. So if you guys want them, you're going to click on my Shopify link in the comments, hit collections, hit new releases. And there you're going to find these babies right here. These are super cute. Hey, Miss Andrea, happy uh, Memorial Day. These are super cute. Look at those. Oh my God, these are super cute. I also have these in black, but once again, it's all about the red, white, and blue. We are saluting the troops today with this live. This is a special Memorial Day for the troops of the United States of America. This one is gonna give me a white heart and the number 26. A white heart and the number 26, okay? So, I have a necklace that I wanna show you guys, but wait, it is a white necklace, but it's got multi-colors, okay? So I'm gonna show you the earrings first. Those are the earrings right there, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tighten her up, y'all, cause y'all not ready to see her just yet. Y'all are not ready to see her. Hold on, hold on. Look at here, look at here now. And watch what I do with this necklace. Look at this. This one is called Extra Elemental. It is a white necklace with multi colors in it. You got pink, blue, and black in there. Super adorable. So you're going to give me a white heart and the number 27. White heart and the number 27. But watch what I do with this. Those earrings I just showed y'all, I told y'all when these sets pop up, it's only when I'm going live. It never happens when I'm trying to create a look for myself. It only happens when I go live. So I did this. Check that out. Give me a white heart and the number 27 and put the word set behind it. White heart, number 27, and give me the word set behind it if you want that set, okay? Next up. Okay, where am I going? Okay, I have this wrinkle. It's called Twisted and Twinkle. Twisted and Twinkle. So as you can see, it's got some twisties around it, but it has some twinkle of bling in there it has twinkle of bling in there and it is a cuff bracelet you're gonna give me a white heart with the number 28 the number 28 okay all right now i feel like i missed something show that one okay i had another necklace where'd it go 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 i had another necklace for y'all where'd it go Okay, I messed, ah, oh Jesus, I had another necklace or did I show you guys everything? Because it says I got two more I need to show y'all, and I'm trying to see which one did I miss, which one did I miss? I showed y'all a white one, showed y'all a twinkle, oh, this one, good, all right, this one right here is called the Legendary Luster, it is a white V-shape inspired necklace. So once again, gotta put my hand up. There's all the bling in there. There is all the bling. And if you like her, you're gonna give me a white heart. Comment a white heart and the number 29. Comment the white heart and the number 29. Okay. 
So there is one more necklace or earring or a bracelet I did not show. So let me go back. I did those three right Oh, my goodness. The wood. I put it to the side. Sorry. So if you are trying to take a trip to um, Mexico and you want it to get a little spicy and a little bit more hotter, you're going to need a wood necklace. So here's the earrings. Okay. I think I showed you guys this one. I think I did. Oh, my God. I think I showed you guys the wood necklace, didn't I? Or did I not? I don't know if I did. I did all the blue. I did all the white. But, yes, here is the wood necklace. That's the wood necklace right there, okay? There is the wood necklace. And, look, you can even pair her up with my beaded bead bracelet but no we're not going to do that so if you want her you're going to drop me a red heart and the number 30 and the number 30 but if you wanted to pair her up here is your set right here put her with the raising the barbados redwood bracelet so if you want this one you're going to comment a red heart the number 30 and set red heart number 30 and the set so, okay, guys, there is my Memorial Live Day special, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will be back tomorrow, so instead of me being able to do the macaron pieces today, we'll do a Twisted Tuesday tomorrow showing the macaron pieces, okay? So, you guys, enjoy your Memorial Day. Stay healthy, stay blessed, and remain safe from my family to yours. We thank you for the support. We thank you for the love. We thank you guys for tuning in and joining us today. You guys take care. Have a good Memorial Day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm out.